Hello everyone. There's been a slight change in Dan Studio 4.20 in the way that mesh lights work. Those are the ones that are essentially a shader on a surface and the surface then goes and emits light. So it's not a light object like we have the parametric lights under create, spotlight, point light or distant light. These are the things that you change on the shader tab. Or in my case, I would bring in a primitive and use that as a softbox. And the way you make those things invisible or essentially turn them into ghost lights has changed or has updated it slightly in Dash Studio 4.20 and I wanted to show you a workaround of how to make them work for you again. So in this demo I'm going to be using the 3D Universe Toon Mouse. He's going to be my stand-in character and he is currently, if I go and render him as it is, there's really only the HDRI that we see. So this is the default ruins HDRI with just a ground plane, whoops, with just a ground plane that I've put in here and I'm going to go and start by turning that off and bringing in my own mesh light for that. So let's go back into filament and show you how I do this setup. So I'll go over to create new primitive and I'll make a plain primitive that is one meter by one meter. And that is currently almost like sunk into the ground here, I believe. Let me go and bring that up a little bit. There it is. I'm going to call this one mesh light just so that we remember what that is. And I'll go and bring it forward and then I'll go and rotate it. Whoops rotated round like this. It doesn't matter really how accurate we are with this. We could be accurate by typing in minus 90 here. And then I'll just have that come from the side, something like that. Move it over here and that'll, that shall illuminate our guy. So I go move that over. And just so that the HDRI doesn't get in the way, I'm going to go and switch this off. So let me go and put that to iRay. And we angle that a little bit towards him. So he's, he's just going to be illuminated by this plane at, in the moment. So I'll go over to my render settings tab and head over to my environments tab. And here I'll set the environment intensity to zero. So now everything's completely black. So no other light is getting in the way here. I've also just for completion, I've also switched off my camera's headlamp. That's another thing that we need to do under general. And then under misc here, auto headlamp, set that to never so that there's no additional light that gets in the way because we only want to deal with the mesh lights right now. So with my mesh lights object selected, I'll head over to the surfaces tab and then I'll head over here to the default surface that comes with every primitive that you create in Das Studio. And then here over on the emissions tab, I will go and set this color to anything but black. So black means there's no light that comes out of our surface. And if I set that to anything else, like a color or in my case white, then we'll see additional parameters pop up. And that is now what will create light, what will emit light. And at the moment, I can see that something might be happening a little bit. I mean, it, it is glowing, but so minuscule that we can barely see the effect and just about see two very dark eyes popping out of the out of the darkness here uh, on these parameters here i tend to not use just the luminance slider i use the units i switch that over to what because it means i have a smaller number to adjust so that kind of makes my life a little bit easier here so i'll instead of 15 watts which looks like it's illuminating my little guy a little bit more i will go and put something like 200 in and see where that gets me and yes, that is kind of cool. I can just about see my friend and I can, you know, it's, he's maybe a bit bright, maybe 150 is going to be, is going to be enough here. So 150, that's, that's my light set up and that's my, my guy lit up now. But of course, the problem is that as I position my camera, I can still see the emitter itself. And that is sometimes not what I want. So currently that's just a mesh light. And to turn it into a proper ghost light, I need to find a way to make this thing invisible. And back before Dash Studio 4.20, there were about three ways to make this happen. The most common one happened here under the geometry tab, under the cut out opacity channel. If I go and turn this down, then essentially that object is being made invisible. And the light intensity didn't kind of follow a little bit, but not in scale with how invisible the object was. So now what happens if I set this to 0.5, then I make my plane half invisible, but also I'm losing half the light intensity that happens there. That wasn't always the case. The light intensity used to be constant, more or less, and then the more invisible the object got, the light would kind of get a little dimmer, but it wasn't actually following a scale. So to make this completely invisible, 
I can't set this to zero because then it wouldn't emit light anymore at all. So what I have to do, and this is still applicable, I have to set this to 0 0.000001 and then hit enter. And then it's as invisible as it can possibly be. So I think we can just about smuggle one more zero in here so that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven zeros here with a one at the end after the comma. So this is as invisible as it can possibly get. But now it looks like I don't have my light anymore. So what you need to do is remember the value of seven, head over back to the emission shader and smuggle those seven zeros in to either your luminance value or your luminous efficacy value. So since I like for this to be adjustable as I'm used to it and leave it on 150, I'm just going to go and smuggle those seven zeros into this value here, which is by default 1500. So if I do that, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, then I can see that my light not only comes back, but it also comes back with the intensity that I had just set up. So this is the change that's happened. And I suppose they've made it so that there's actually a relation between how much light gets lost and how invisible the plane gets. So it's still working, but the adjustment used to be a little bit different. As a result, there is actually a product on the store called the Ghost Lights by Kindred Arts, and he is in the process of updating that so that it works with the version 4.20. We don't know if it's going to be a new version yet or if it's going to be integrated into the old product. If the old version is going to be wiped out, hopefully not. Hopefully we're going to, we're going to have two versions, one that works with the 4.16 and below and one with 4.20 and above. That is the plan. So yes, this is a small change that has happened, and I thought I'm going to tell you about it. So yeah, Ghost Lights haven't completely broken broken. It's just a different way of working with it. Now you know how it works. I hope this was helpful and I will see you in the next episode. Take care. Bye-bye.